ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಎಪಿಸ್ಟೆಮಾಲಜಿ ಉಪಮಾನ ಶಬ್ದ ಅರ್ಥಪತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಭಾವ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಓ ಉಪಮಾನ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಓ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಬಾಯ ಅನಾಲಜಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಓ ಡೆನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ರಿಸೆಂಬ್ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಓ ಸಿಮಿಲಾರಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅ ಗವಯ ಆರ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ ಕಾವ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಟೇಲ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಜಂಗಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಅ ಗವಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ಬಟ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾವ್ ಓ ಅ ಗವಯ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಓ ಉಪಮಾನ ಸೊ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲಾರಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಸ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಲುಕ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ದ ಗವಯ ಓ ದ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾವ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಅ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೆನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಓ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಗ್ನೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಓ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸಮ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ದಿ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಓ ಉಪಮಾನ ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಮಿನಿ ಓ ಶಬ್ದ the sankhya and the vaisheshika schools of indian philosophy reduce the authority of the pramana or the means of knowledge to inference or anumana the jaina on the other hand reduce the authority of comparison to recognition or pratitbhijna the mimamsa school of indian philosophy accepts the independent authority of the means of knowledge of comparison but it is important to note that their understanding of comparison or upamana is different from the manner in which the nyaya school accepts it shabda or verbal testimony shabda or verbal testimony is an independent source or means of knowledge according to nyaya school according to nyaya epistemology shabda is the fourth and the last accepted pramana by the school according to them shabda is a pramana when it comes from a trustworthy person the statements which follow from a reliable trustworthy person are called aptavakya according to nyaya a sentence is a collection of words and words have the potency or the power in them to convey the meanings nyaya believes that the power in the word to denote its meaning is something which comes from god shabda or verbal testimony can be human or divine but it is always personal in nature according to nyaya testimony is of two kinds a vedika b laukika a vedika the vedika testimony is perfect and infallible in nature they are believed to be spoken by god himself for example vedas are spoken by god laukika on the other hand is secular testimony it is the testimony of human beings as a result it is liable to error and it is not infallible in nature so however the words of a trustworthy person or apta vyakya are valid because they are truthful in nature others are not in other words laukika testimony is not to be trusted as valid in nature according to nyaya as noted above word signifies an object and a sentence is a collection of words so in order for a sentence to be intelligible in nature the words of the sentence must fulfill the four conditions the four conditions are number 1 akanksha it means mutual implication or expectancy in other words it means the words of a sentence are interrelated in nature and stand in need of one another in order to express a complete sense for instance 
cow, horse, man, an elephant. It would be a sheer nonsensical statement. Number two, yogita. The word must contain in itself the power or the potency to convey the sense and should not contradict the meaning. For example, a sentence such as "water the plants with fire" is nonsensical sentence. Number three, sanidhi. It means the condition of closeness or proximity within the words. In other words, it means the words of the sentence must be spoken with close intervals and there should be no long pauses between the words in a sentence. For example, the sentence like the person who is wearing a black t-shirt can come in etc. This sentence will make no logical sense because of the lack of closeness or proximity within the words of the sentence. Number 4. Tatparya. It is associated with the intention of the speaker of the sentence. In other words, if the words of the sentence are ambiguous in nature, then the meaning of the word should be understood in association with the intention of the speaker. For example, if someone at the dining table says, Pass the sendhava, now the word sendhava means two things, salt and horse. Now, one must realize that at the dining table, the person would ask for salt and not the horse. Arthapati or postulation and abhava or non-apprehension. Nyaya school only admits four means of knowledge. Perception, inference, comparison and verbal testimony. Arthapatti or postulation is not regarded as an independent pramana because it is reduced to inference or anumana. For example, according to Nyaya, Arthapatti or implication or postulation is reduced inference. For example, all fat people who do not eat during the day eat at night. Devdat is a fat person who does not eat during the day. Therefore, he eats at night. According to Nyaya, Abhava or non-apprehension is not an independent pramana because it can be reduced to either perception or inference. According to Nyayikas, if the thing is imperceptible in nature and can only be inferred, then its non-existence too can be equally inferred. Questions Number 1. Knowledge produced by similarity and resemblance comes under The correct answer is Upamana or comparison. Question 2. Dash is the knowledge of the relation of the name and the object or the thing denoted by that name. The correct answer is A. Upamana. Question 3. The two kinds of Shabda are The correct answer is A. Vedika and Lokika. Question 4. Dash means mutual implication or expectancy. The correct answer is A. Akanksha.